I used to chase fame, and I got a glimpse of it in the first couple years of my business. I was following the marketing experts who were teaching us to be, become famous, and in the first three years, I have you know had over 3,000 Facebook fans in the first three years and over 10,000 email subscribers. But what I noticed was that I felt this pressure to keep growing in that direction and get more exposure, get more fans, get more followers. And what that did was I had to start, you know, I had, I had to use hype to some extent to get there and to use hype to continue growing like that. And also what happened was I started getting a lot of requests for my time that were unpaid requests that were from people who were, you know, in, in desperate in desperate straits or whatever it may be. That's what tends to happen is if you use hype to become famous, you draw people to you who are desperate, uh, you know, who are, des who are in some desperation. And it's not the best audience, in my opinion. So I burned out doing that model of chasing fame. Okay. And then what happened was I had this kind of burnout and at the same time was kind of undergoing a spiritual transformation within myself and I decided to restart my business I started to I rebooted my business by removing 90% of my email subscribers I had 10,000 people 13,000 by that point and I removed it down to just about a thousand people I removed most of the people who hadn't opened my emails for a long time I started over I wanted to say no longer chasing fame and money but instead I wanted to serve more deeply. I wanted to, to, to figure out or learn, practice how to bring more love into business, into my daily activities, more about service rather than about wealth and fame. And that kind of deepening inspired me to start creating authentic content like you see today. So I've been doing this kind of authentic content stuff since 2015 not you know instagram was was later okay but but i started doing authentic content in 2015 on facebook um and then eventually on youtube and you know and then eventually on on on, on instagram as well so i'll tell you what happened a year after i started creating authentic content consistently and that's the key that's where a lot of people fail is they're not consistent with their authentic content. A year afterwards, I noticed that I no longer had to go out and chase clients. Now people were inquiring about my services without me having to even announce my services. They were now asking me. They were chasing me down. And now in my conversations, I no longer was selling. I was now interviewing people to see if I really wanted to take them on as a client. So everything changed after a year of doing this stuff. The being authentic, consistent content, right? And so now it's been years where I've had a full client roster with a waiting list for years now. And it's been just the most, it's been so much more fulfilling and joyful than before. Like now today, having become in touch with my authentic way of doing business and creating content, et cetera, and serving clients, it is, I, I feel like I'm going to be myself and make a great living doing it. And this is why I'm so passionate about encouraging all of you to do that. Because each of our authenticity, by definition, is unique because each of us have lived a different life. And each of us is uniquely attractive to certain kinds of people about our topic. And when you can be authentic, it's also very sustainable because you don't have to pretend to be anything other than what you already enjoy doing authentically. However you, however you enjoy creating content is what is sustainable for the long term. And it's also what's going to attract your kindred spirits to you. So that's my encouragement to you today is you know, we no longer have to chase the fame and wealth things because that is a road to certain burnout. I, when I started 11 years ago, I was, you know, 
chasing fame and wealth along with certain people who were my partners. And I've watched those partners get burnout, exhaustion. They had to build a staff to kind of keep up that fame and wealth chasing. And it's just a very, like they may look all good on Instagram or, or wherever else they're showing up, but privately in our conversations, I know that they're not happy. Like they, are, they wish they had more freedom. They wish they had more. They could be themselves more without having to keep up this front of success and all that stuff. And so I want to encourage you to return to a genuine spirituality, whatever that means for you. Each of us has a different spiritual path. But return to your genuine spirituality that reminds you that you will always be taken care of. That you that your worth is not dependent on how many people you how many people you serve. By the way, fame and impact are not correlated. Just because you're more famous doesn't mean you're making more impact. You might be leading the famous people might be leading people astray, right? So, impact is really about depth of change, and you can do that with one person, or you can do that with a million people. But it's. It's really about your authenticity is what creates the deepest impact for other people. So not fame. Pursue more service. Pursue more love in your daily activities. Pursue greater truth. And you will make the deepest impact. And you'll also have a sustainable business going forward. I hope this is helpful. Take care.